Hey guys, Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design. I'm going to be answering your listener question about the WYSIWYG Web Builder 8. And this question comes from my new friend Carrie, and she has a website called sxmbottomfishing.com. And there's a couple issues with the site she was having. Um, so let's go over that real quick. First issue is that uh, she was having trouble with her email forms. The second issue is that some of the um, images aren't loading on the site, and the gallery images here in the gallery page are not loading on the site. And she was having an issue connecting with FTP. I wasn't sure if maybe that was what the problem was, or if it was uh, some other underlying issue. So I think I know what's going on. Not entirely positive, but we're going to try it out. So the first issue is, uh, let's see, contact us is not linked, by the way. Um, to your contact page. I have to click on this register now button. So you may want to may want to get that fixed. Um, all, everything else is linked. So maybe we just forgot that one. Um, so let me go back to this first one here. Catch that register button. I don't know where the contact page, and you'll see that uh, here's the contact form. But oopsie, the code is showing a little bit of PHP code showing there, and that is because this. Is formatted as .html and needs to be formatted as .php. It's a real simple fix. You just right click, page properties, file extension, change it from HTML, PHT, republish it. Um, you can also go through when you, after you publish the PHP version of that page um, in your FTP program that you're going to be using. Go in and also delete the HTML version. Okay, because that. It's not going to delete it. It'll just upload the, the PHP. We'll have two different versions kind of running side by side. And just want to get rid of that. So delete the HTML one and, and republish it as PHP. And that'll fix that issue. Okay, so next issue is with the uh, Yahoo. Um, apparently sometime, not, not, it's fairly recent, sometime last year, Yahoo switched over. And you have to publish files uh, using a secure protocol, so it, you know, FTPS, basically. Um, unfortunately, WYSIWYG does not support that. And I found this post, and I'll put a link to this up here. Um, post ID number 49454. And it is regarding the FTPS notice from Yahoo Hosting. And uh, they physically say, no, we do not have any plans to include FTPS support because there are too many variants of this protocol. It would take months to implement this functionality, and there would be no time left to do anything else. The solution is to publish your files locally, so publish, publish it to your computer, and then FTP the files to your site, which is what you've been doing, and it seems to work. I know it's a pain in the butt, but it is it is a way to do it, um, I guess, if you, if you really want to use Yahoo Hosting. Uh, I'm not sure what the benefit is to using Yahoo Hosting, um, besides maybe it's really reliable. I've never used it. Um, I have my own web hosting. So if you do want to switch, I got to plug myself here because I got a great deal for, for my WYSIWYG listeners here. Um, and I have a coupon code, WYSIWYG8. Uh, it's going to give you 70% off of the prices here. So um, to really maximize that, I'm showing you my annual pricing because that's 70% off whatever your bill is. So uh, I'm going to show you what that means exactly. So. Let's say if you were to sign up for the monthly pricing, then you're looking at like 70% off 10 bucks or six bucks or whatever you want to spend, right? Um, but if, if you take 70% off 100, well, that's that's a lot different. So I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, put in your domain name, your .com. These are all the different tiers I offer. So let's say you wanted to just go annual. Just to show you how this works, click on checkout, right? And down here at the bottom is a thing for promotional code. We type in what you see is what you get. What you see, here we go. Oh, it showed up. Right. Validate the code. And you'll see that the total amount for one entire year of web hosting, 30 bucks. A little over 30 bucks. And uh, this is my annual plan. So if you need a domain name, that will include your domain name. And you own the domain name, by the way. I don't I don't own it. That's you. It's all yours. Thirty bucks. Not a bad deal. Um, if you want to switch web hosts. So 
Now, to get into the picture, what's up with the picture? Why am I not showing? I, I really don't know. Um, all I can tell you is that I have compared. I, they're not showing up because they're not they're not uploaded. They're not in. I've gone through your FTP, and the images aren't showing up. Just are not in the images folder here. Um, so why are they not in there? I, I don't know why they're not going. My guess is that when I look at an image that does work, like for instance this one. Okay, this one is named sxm1.jpg. Okay. Then when I come and I look at an image that doesn't load or doesn't work, this one is img underscore zero zero three dot jpeg. Okay. So my guess is that these weird characters have something to do with it. Um, because it's every image that doesn't load has weird characters. Um, this one uh, is and and like your gallery, they're all the same. See all see all this has percentage signs in it. Um, that means that there's like spaces and stuff in the image file name. So, and it's the same with all of the images in your gallery. I think I didn't check every single image, but I spot checked most of them, and they all appear to have some things going on. So let's see, a title in it. So here's the, here's the file name. Do you see that? So my suggestion is to go through and take the images that aren't loading on your site properly, rename them all to only have. Oh, you know, here we go. Here's an entire list of them. So yeah, every, and every single one of them is not the ones that don't load are the ones that have uh, weird characters in them, right? So name them all that have something like like this. See now, see this one has an underscore, but it's still low. I'm not sure why, but uh, just rename them all to have just the letters and the numbers like this. I mean, you can name them whatever you want. If this is a picture of a certain type of fish. Name it that fish. It's probably better to do that anyways. Uh, but at any rate, if that still doesn't work, then we're then I'm going to have you email me your website uh, in the WYSIWYG format, like in a, like a template or something, so I can really dive into it. But that's my suggestions for now. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me back, and we can go over it again. Uh, for those of you watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really makes me want to do more of these. I love helping you guys out. So if you guys have questions, come on over to my website, bjholder.com. Click the Contact Me button, all right, and uh, ask away. A little contact form here. Ask me a question. Here's my email address. You know, shoot me an email. And I look forward to answering your questions. Oh, and by the way, the other thing, I'm going to do some uh, website reviews, I think. So if you have a WYSIWYG Web Builder 8 website and you want me to review it, Take a look at it, tell you what I think of it, tell you what I think of the improvement, maybe give you a suggestion on something cool that you could do with it. Uh, email me and tell me what you're looking for and what you're interested in, and I'll do a video just like this recorded. Alrighty, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks.